the strength of Oak Ridge and the strength of the MDF is being able to catalyze industry and move at an extremely fast pace. There's a number of areas where we're helping industry to address some of the supply chain issues. Number one is the N95 masks. We're using the carbon fiber technology facility and we're working with Dr. Peter Sai, the inventor of the N95, to show how we can scale up the process and then we're transferring that, transitioning that technology to a number of industrial partners so they can scale up and manufacture the fabrics. We're developing new reusable N95 masks using the latest advancements in additive manufacturing to print the molds and then giving those molds to industry to injection mold and go into mass production of these respirators. Same thing on ventilators, test kits, face shields. Everything we're doing is to get tooling into the hands of industry in hours and days rather than weeks and months. We'll use our neutron scattering techniques to look at the, the structures of the individual protein complexes and how they assemble to replicate the virus. Neutrons are an ideal tool for this type of research because they give us information that you can't get with other techniques. We will use the information that we get from neutron scattering to inform computational calculations that we will be able to carry out using Summit to get more in-depth information. As we uh, build up this knowledge of how all these proteins interact with each other and interact with RNA, we'll discover ways to develop therapeutics that can essentially target different parts of life cycle of the virus. ORNL is a founding member of the COVID-19 HPC Consortium, offering up a set of computational resources, including expertise, to researchers that want to be able to attack the COVID pandemic problem as quickly as possible where Summit can really provide benefit is the pure computational power of each node on Summit enables you to do things like molecular dynamic simulation and docking simulations that you probably couldn't do on a, on a regular laptop. Really, we want to be able to accelerate ways to attack the virus from a, either a vaccination or a treatment standpoint and try to winnow that down so that wet labs can take that data and actually use it. What's unique about Atom is that it's an integrated approach, bringing together high performance computing, artificial intelligence, and a tightly coupled engineering approach to chemical synthesis and biological assays, so that we can think about all of the aspects that are important for making a drug in one tightly coupled integrated platform. There is a team of representatives from eight national labs working together to figure out what are the unique contributions that our collection of labs can make with all of these external partners to identify therapeutics that will make that difference for patients in the end. The main objective is to understand the trends and patterns of the disease transmission and the impact on local infrastructure, healthcare infrastructure and population, and also to understand the geographic variability so we can really provide some insights into how what we call the non-pharmaceutical interventions, which are minimizing travel, stay at home, closing schools, closing non-essential businesses. How do those measures make an impact in terms of reducing and controlling the number of infections that are going through the population? And how soon can we get a good grip on understanding what sort of measures should we take that will allow us to go back to life as we knew it? The team is used to working under extremely high pressure, solving problems real time. And, and this, this is our best moonshot. This, this is what we were made for. And it does need all of us from all of the different sectors and all of the different countries working together to tackle it with that sense of urgency. It has been like drinking from a fire hose. We've been working very, very hard to get all these projects uh, evaluated and, and to get them enabled on the machine as quickly as possible and to make sure that the work that they're doing has been as effective as possible by applying our expertise and other things. So there's a massive uh, network of people who are necessary 
to make all this happen and they're all there they're all coming in to work in these very challenging times and to, ma to make sure that we're up and running and we're able to contribute to this we are dealing with an unprecedented situation in the world this is also an unprecedented opportunity for us as scientists to make us count and make our science count if we cannot make a difference today um, i don't know when we will get another opportunity in, in our lifetime